Hi, this is Mark with Digital Heat Effects, and today we're going to talk about the Digital Heat Effects i550 and sublimation. Okay, so if you've watched some of our other videos, you might have seen doing trunk transfer prints and some other things like that. And today we're going to do sublimation. So let me tell you how it works. It's really simple. We have sublimation toners. So your toner cartridges are like this. These are the ones that come inside of your Digital Heat Effects i550 right out of the box. In addition to that, you can purchase a sublimation kit. This is another toner set that's designed for doing sublimation. It's really great because it takes about one minute to swap toners. You just open it up, pop your new toners in, take the original toners out, put them aside, close it up and turn the machine back on. It's converted into a sublimation printer at that point in time. I love that, I love how easy that is. Another awesome uh, feature of that is it uses plain paper, no sublimation paper. So we're able to sublimate now using a toner printer with no liquid inks and using plain paper, no specialty sublimation papers. So this is great for when you're using apparel like this, this is a Sport Tech 100% polyester white shirt, and we're going to go ahead and I've got a design up in Corel Draw. We're going to print it and put it on the shirt. So here I am just with regular Corel Draw image. I got a stock design and I put our logo on it, the Digital Heat Effects i550 logo, and then I reversed it because we print in reverse for sublimation. And I'm just using regular printer settings here. So. As this prints, it's actually it's a very fast process. You can see it's happening already. It's a fast print too. If we need to do five or 10, we can do a bunch of these really fast. So it's really cool to be able to print sublimation at such a high speed. Normally, what happens with sublimation is you're using a liquid ink system, which is a print head moving back and forth, and a page like this could take you a couple minutes to do when this took seconds. So this image now is ready to go on our apparel. I've got a few tools. I've got well, my shirt, of course, my transfer. I'm also going to use some heat tape over here. And one other thing is an additional sheet of paper. We refer to this like a blowout sheet. This prevents sublimation from getting onto our heat press. Another tool, I've got a Teflon sheet on the bottom. You can also use a Teflon wrap, whatever it would be. Uh, the goal of all of this is I'm protecting sublimation from going everywhere but the one place I want it, on the shirt. So we'll thread our shirt, thread our shirt on like this. Get my design in place. Couple pieces of tape to prevent it from moving. My blowout sheet on top. My pressure set nice and low. I've got it at 380 degrees, by the way, for those curious. We're going to do it for a minute. So while that's cooking for a minute, I'll just talk to you really quick about, you know, kind of what's happening here if you don't know about dye sublimation. But what happens in the dye sublimation process is a dye, a dye is trapped inside of the actual toner, of the particles of toner that are in the paper. When we put it under this high temperature, 380 degrees, the dye gets released out and actually gases into the apparel. So it's not laying on top like your traditional transfer. It's actually getting pushed into the apparel. It's great for those moisture wick 100% polyester. It is only for 100% polyester garments, really light colors. You want to be using white to get your most vibrant colors. And it, it's designed exactly for that though. So this is for fishing shirts and sports shirts and basketball jerseys and, and recreational, things of that nature, when they want a really thin garment that wicks away moisture well. So we hit our 60 seconds. 
I'm going to get rid of my blow off sheet. I don't want to use that one again because it's got a little bit of dye in it. And I'm going to let this cool off. It actually cools off pretty fast um, in less than a minute, especially if you put it down um, on, a, on a cold table like this metal table here. Now let's close this up. I'm waiting for it to get to room temperature. I could already feel that it is. As soon as it touched that table, it pretty much sucked all the heat out. And I'll go ahead and, and pull the transfer off. bit of tape and here we are and it's re it's really interesting that you can actually see where the toner is still here but the dye that's in the dye sublimation is transferred to our garment so here we are we've produced a dye sublimated shirt is a hundred percent polyester we're using a sport tech I can tell you the shirt right now because many uh, folks are curious about what we're using. I'm using a Sport Tech. It's an ST352. That's from Sanmar. And here we go. So vibrant colors. You can do tons of colors. Print directly from your graphic software. Uh, I've done PDFs. If I just had a PDF image of art that was provided to me, just click print right from my PDF viewer. Uh, I've had PNGs and JPEGs and other high-res images that I've printed directly from my wherever driver Windows is pulling, right on plain paper, bring it over to a heat press and put it right onto a 100% polyester garment. And here we go. And uh, we'll come up and show you some close up shots too. Thanks for watching and uh, check out our other videos at digitalheateffects.com. And if you want to talk to somebody about the sublimation upgrade to your Digital Heat Effects i550 or any of the other options on the uh, i550, please give us a call or live chat online with one of our pros. Thank you.